What is going on guys? Welcome back to CK2 Game of Thrones as the Mad King Aerys Targaryen during Robert's Rebellion. We're currently, uh, we've just defeated a Stark army in King's Landing. I think this is the last thing we did. And they have now retreated all the way to Duskendale and they've regrouped with a Stormlander army. I was certain the, that we had Robert Baratheon in here, but he must have... Oh, you know what? I reloaded... No, he's, he's actually Ling Troops in Duskin. Okay, never mind. Because I reloaded, and so I thought that maybe uh, all the commanders are gone. But that's not the case. So, we can actually go ahead and uh, catch him here. There he is, Robert Baratheon leading the center. He's got Sir Richard Horp and Sir Garn Wild with him. But, yeah, n none of this actually matters because we're going to crush him. Yeah, look, look at this. Well, we crushed the center. Awesome. The Mountain Clansmen declared war on the Vale. Well, that is exceptional... 20,000 men. John Aaron is going to have some real issues. Now, if we quickly check out what's going on, I think in the north, we had a peasant rebellion? Or maybe not. Maybe it's, I, I'm actually not entirely sure, but I've, I think I read something about this. But either way, this is a big deal. This is a big deal. Dolph? Wait, hold on. Wasn't there a... Who was the son of Dolph? Wasn't there someone's son of Dolph? Shaga? Wasn't Shaga son of Dolph? Damn. Okay, that's cool. Let's definitely uh, keep an eye on you because I want to see what you're doing. But for now, let's continue and let's actually go back to our uh, battle here. Let's not get distracted, okay? Um, apparently, Tristan was slain by... Okay. Of course. So, Robert slew some peasant, but uh, Richard Horp was actually killed by the killing machine himself, Vorian Dane. How many men has he killed so far? Three? It's insane. It's truly insane. But uh, regardless, um, yeah, we'll uh, finish this off here. Very nice. Sir Tristan died. I don't really care for Sir Tristan. Sir Richard Horp is a much bigger loss for, uh, you know, our enemies. So good job there. We also obviously won the war. Uh, gained a lot of war score for that. And I definitely want to go ahead and make my way to Driftmark here and yeah defeat the Starks and then the Tullys and Vale. Why are they all in Dragonstone? That's kind of frustrating if they're here. Whatever. We're gonna destroy these smaller armies then we're gonna resiege some of these provinces and I believe that should yeah that should get us 100% war score um pretty pretty much actually pretty much. I just finished retaking the provinces here in the uh, northern part of the Crownlands, and as you can see by the war score now, all we have to do really is retake Dragonstone and Driftmark, and this war will be over. Um, now, in the meantime, uh, our current Master of Laws, the uh, Jorah, Jorah Lynx, has actually managed to remove tyranny. So he has spent the past months trying to improve our good reputation and he sent many ravens met with more notable nobles of the realm and actually successfully managed to squash certain rumors about that person. That is incredible and of course makes makes us like Jorah a lot more. Excellent work indeed. Now other than that what has happened? Two rather important things have happened. First of all Mark Grafton uh, was killed in personal combat by Stannis Baratheon. So I think it's really cool because there was a battle down here. This is actually the army of Lord Stannis. He somehow escaped after being defeated, but he did kill the Lord of Goldtown. Um, so they had a battle here. It seems like just in in canon, uh, Stannis is staying home to defend the Stormlands while his brother is out and about, you know, besieging Dragonstone for some reason. Yeah, and the other thing that happened, it's probably not that big of a deal, but I still want to show you. Um, there we go. Ty Tyrion Lannister died under suspicious circumstances. And just before that, Tyrion Lannister was buying a whole lot of favors. So I wonder if he was the one who killed him. I mean, it's possible. It could have been Cersei too. But yeah, I like that. And she married Sir Reginald Lannister, of course. Because that's... Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, right now I'm uh, moving back to the capital. And then we're going to try and see if we can land a Driftmark or Dragonstone and... Uh, end this war for good. I'm not entirely sure what Robert is trying to do, but I have the feeling he's running away because he's currently somewhere in the disputed peninsula. So over here, I suppose. Uh, he must have a plan, 
but I don't know what it is. And quite frankly, I don't care. What I'm doing right now is I'm sending a small detachment of our forces, uh, led by the command of our City Watch, to uh, besiege Storm's End, although it looks like the Ty Tyrells are already doing that. Uh, after they've finally taken over Nightsong, uh, they're actually moving in, so that's fine. And uh, what I'm doing, I've sent my son Rhaegar and some of his uh, commanders, as you can see here, uh, to retake Dragonstone and Driftmark. It's going to be difficult. If these two armies unite, we might have a little bit of an issue, but you know what? That's just the way it is. In the meantime, the Mad King Ares has... Uh, has made some mad stuff. We had an event about the Turnip Act. That's just kind of a regular event. I personally don't actually like it all that much. And um, where it's not it's not about the Turnip Act, by the way. It's just what I picked. You know those lunatic events where you can have a crazy new law? I don't know, it gets old. I think I've just seen it so many times, it's nothing special. So I didn't show you. But something I did do was uh, I had some fun with some of our prisoners. By the way, one of the new additions to our dungeons is Lord Colton Bramsford, uh, Chelsea of Bramsford, because he was the one who actually spread rumors about us, so he quickly lost his position as Master of Coin, and he lost some other limbs as well. And now he's just gonna die out his... live out his days, I guess, in the dungeon. And um, we also have Robin Rigger, he's just a prisoner of war. And then, of course, we've got Edmure Tully. And I've decided that I think the Tully line should maybe just come to an end at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that there's no more Tullys. So uh, we'll castrate him. And uh, that will... Yeah, that means the end of the Tully name. Because currently there's four Tullys left. We've got Celia Tully. She's 60. She cannot have any children. Catelyn Tully's 20. But she's already married. So unless Edda dies, she is not gonna, well, she's not gonna be able to have any more Tully children, and same goes for Lysa. So, yeah, there you go. Uh, unless some miracle happens, the Tullys will die out, but I'm perfectly fine with that, to be honest. So, there you go. I'm also thinking about blinding Edmure, but I think it's fine for now. We might, we might do a little bit later. Oh yeah, let's actually move on and see how this battle goes. We do have terrible morale, but we are faced with no Com commander opposition. It's basically us slaughtering peasants right here, which mm, it's going fine, I think. Yeah, okay. Barristan and uh, Rega have have got under control. Perfect. So five thousand men slain. We'll have to wait here for a while, I think, to regain our strength, maybe. Because yeah, there you go. Vorian Dane got a got another son. Very good. Alaric. Well, good for you. You're gonna definitely get the struggle focus. Just like that. Alright. We're still missing a Septon, but I don't think that's our main concern at this moment. And we'll wait for you to drop off a few more troops. Yeah, you can just run away. In the meantime, we'll besiege. Once we get our morale up, we'll attack. And there goes Colton Chelstead. Finally died in our dungeons. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what happens, right? Okay. And we thank you for your continued patronage. As a sign of our trust in you, we would like to offer the chance to learn the secret of making wildfire. Oh, wow. You are tasked with the quest of learning to make wildfire. You can ask any acolyte in your court to help you in this. That is so cool. Okay. And of course, that's Rossard, the Hand of the King. Of course, we will accept. And what's this? While carrying out my duties, I have met Patron... Paradise on several occasions. These encounters have never ended well. One would be hard pressed to find a more unsympathetic character. I suspect he's spreading lies behind my back. Yeah, we'll, we'll become better rivals, and you know what? I'm not gonna have rivals for very long. Let's quickly check this out. Uh, Paradise. I can't imprison you. Hmm. Okay. Um, you as. Oh, you're a pirate? Okay, I don't think I care enough about you, but whatever. We also have L Lucifer of the Whispers as our rival. He actually joined Robert after leading our troops for a very long time. Um, so he's also rivals with our son, so I don't know really what's going on there. I think he tried to kill our son, if I'm not mistaken. But whatever. Um, let me quickly check out what we can do about the wildfire here. An acolyte in our court. We can ask an acolyte in our court. Can we ask you? Learn how to make wildfire. Lose 50 gold. Sure. Sure. 
Um, Rossard agrees to your command and in the coming days will teach you to make wildfire. He bids you join him at the guild the, to don the proper robes and prepare the necessary equipment. Okay, so there's a 90% or 80% chance we we succeed. Okay, I think we are going to succeed here. We'll, we'll see. Yes, apparently so. He spent many days demonstrating the proper procedure for the manufacturer and handling of the substance. He made sure I understood the volatility volatility and danger of it and successfully taught me how to handle it safely. I can now manipulate wildfire. Okay, so what does that mean? We can make it ourselves, but it's still gonna cost money. I think we could make wildfire before, so I'm not really sure what it does. I think it just gave us more of the uh, esoteric knowledge, to be honest. But whatever, let's move on. Um, what's our morale say right now? Morale says not quite ready. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. And apparently, the series is proud. That's not really a surprise. Not really a surprise. We're leading... You're in the Mistwood. Okay. Robert might come north to defend his home, although that would be incredibly stupid. Is Stannis holding this? It's not. It's actually Rolf Buckler. Hmm. I would have loved to see Stannis there, but that's fine. Okay, now, are we going to assault this? Yeah, we might take uh, take High Tide, and now we're going to move on here and destroy these northern dogs. I have found out nothing new and useful about Prince Rhaegar. Mm, now, actually, I know something. He has already started a faction to depose me, so... Um, <laughs> he is surely a willing slave to dark forces. Sure. Sure, we'll spread some rumors just to make it a little bit more difficult once we actually take over as Rhaegar. Now, you're crushed, and Edat. Oh, Edat Stark is here. Gulbuk Glover and Bartimus of Moat Kaelin. I don't know who he is, but whatever. No! Vorian Dane has been captured. He was bested by Edat Stark. Oh, that is. That is actually rather incredible. And I gotta be honest, I think. I think Vorian Dane can be very, very lucky that he's been bested by Eddard Stark because everyone else would have probably killed him. But uh, Eddard, being an honorable man he is, actually took him captive. And I also love, by the way, that, you know, there's this interesting dynamic, obviously, between Ned Stark and, and the Danes, and that actually continues here, even though the Tower of Joy will play out completely differently. So, I don't know. I think that's re really, really cool. This is a setback, however, um, not sure what we're going to do about that, but let's move on for now and see what happens. And, uh, what's this? Lord of Pabble wants to join us. Okay, fine, I suppose. That's nice. And we already lost this flank, so Jason Bywater is not the best command, but that, it doesn't really matter because we've got Barristan and our son doing an amazing job here. Okay, Tywin is not really helping. Baratheon, Robert is known as the Imperious. And he's got a bastard. And he's rivals with Stannis as well. Really? That is surprising to me. He's now in hiding, and he's married to a Trant. I think that's definitely better than uh, what we had before. Okay, so how is it that Vorian is imprisoned if we have... Eddard Stark in prison. That makes no sense. Asked to ransom him. We cannot afford the money. Okay, well, what to do with Eddard Stark then? Are we going to burn him? I mean, we did want to have his head, right? I'm pretty certain. Seize Valyrian steel. Oh, that is interesting. Um, transfer ice from Lord Paramount Eddard of the North Treasury. Uh, why can we not do this? Oh, we need to have an ancestral claim. Alright. Well, in that case, I think we might just kill him. And, uh, do we do anything else? Yeah, you know what? We could ransom you, but you don't have the money for that. Are we going to give you a good, clean death, Eddard Stark? I don't think so. I think you're going to be tortured. 
Yep, enjoy that. He was undressed, tied to a pole, and left out in the snow overnight. Come on, really? And Northman leaving out in the snow? Is that is that really what you came up with? God damn it. Uh, wow, that is not what I would have done. But anyways, let's do this again, because this didn't work out. Let's mutilate him this time. Let's see what we did here. Um, okay. Dragged him from his cell while you methodically prepared your tools. No one crosses you unscathed, and Eddard will become a living example of this. At least that's the plan, but who knows? You could slip. Okay, so he should be disfigured. He might lose his trait Brave, which he didn't. Hmm, I kind of would like to break him, honestly. He's not broken yet, it seems. Hmm, can he be humiliated? Let's see what that does. You order... Tar be poured over Lord Paramount Eddard, after which he's rolled in feathers. Okay. Well, he's still proud. God damn it. Wow, I mean, I gotta give it to him. Eddard Stark is not broken easily. He's still, he's still brave, he's still proud. God damn the Starks. Anyways, I think what we'll do right now is we'll actually spend some time here retaking Dragonstone. It's gonna take a while because we can't actually besiege the castle. Uh, which is a little bit problematic, but whatever. And we're also losing money quickly due to our ships. I would like to stand down um, our personal ship levies because they're rather expensive. And yeah, that's just about our plot to rescue Willem Daly. It's not a big deal. Let's uh, stand down. There you go. Okay. Um, the vassals of the Iron Throne now find us intimidating. That's good. That's very good. Now, I thought that the Mountain Clansmen already had united under a king, but apparently I was wrong, because what Dolph, uh, the father of Shaga, probably, was doing here is just a liberation rule. This is not actually the, you know, Clansmen unite under a king event, but regardless, because it just happened anyways. King Chagan of the Mountain Clans has declared his war, and... I gotta be honest, like, he's not actually all that powerful. Like, Dolph is much more powerful. He's got 15,000 men left after already conquering a lot of stuff. I don't even know... Yeah, he's at 71% chance, or, uh, yeah, war score. So he's gonna be taken over... I don't know, is he gonna be independent? It's hard to say. But either way, uh, right now, this king has spawned at the Bloody Gate and is attacking the Yan forces that were just retreating home, trying to defend. Um, definitely... The Veil vale will be in turmoil after this. The Trident will be because they don't have the Tullys leading them. And for the North, well, I mean, their Lord Paramount is in our dungeon. So, very, very interesting things happening. I uh, just wanted to show you that. In the meantime, of course, we're still besieging Dragonstone. Unfortunately, it takes a very long time. Um, and we can't assault it because it has a fort level of 10. So, we just have to kind of wait. We have a problem. Every morning, especially when the weather is as splendid as it is today, you like to go out on your balcony, lean against the railing and take a deep breath of fresh air. The view from up here is spectacular, and the people below look like ants. And Ares the Mad King <laughs> will probably die right now. Uh, pretty much, yeah. As you lean forward on the railing, you suddenly hear the sound of splintering wood as it gives way completely and you tumble over the edge. While plummeting towards the ground, you spent your last moments reflecting on the gravity of the situation. I will haunt the carpenter who built that railing. There goes the Mad King Ares Targaryen. That was, of course, not what I had planned. Um, but it will still work out. Because I... This is a Rhaegar series, and I only played as Ares so we could win the war. And we did a pretty good job so far, but taking over as Rhaegar now is fine by me. King Ares II has taken his last breath at the age of 41. He died under suspicious circumstances. Fire is an interesting thing, but Ares was obsess obsessed. Yes, he actually knew how to make wildfire, so there you go. As such, only a pyre to send him to meet the gods will do. King Rhaegar being a talented military tactician, we expect him to lead us to many victories on the field of battle. Long live King Rhaegar. So, be it. Um, yep, your grace. King Aerys has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now is there, Prince Rhaegar will take the throne and rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Long live the king. Now, I think 
we're not really going to change anything at the moment because we're currently trying to retake, well, our home, or our previous home. Uh, we're definitely going to continue, take, retake Dragonstone, and once we've done that, we're going to deal with, yeah, Lu Lucifer here and the rest of the Northern Army. There's still so many Northmen around. That is actually rather frustrating. Let's combine our forces here. We've got Jonathan Dairy leading. Who else could we have here? Aaron Drift is actually supposed to lead somewhere else. Let's have... Uh, Gunther of Sharp Point lead this, and we apparently have Hedge Knights raised. Let's not have them raised, and instead, don't attach. Well, actually, I kind of need you to attach. Do we want to actually siege Storm's End? It's such a waste of time. Ah, I don't know, man. And who's here? We've got Robert Baratheon. Now, if he actually gets closer and attacks the Goldtown army, we might break the siege of of Storm's End. In fact, you know what I will do? Tyrells are useless anyways. Someone told this to me that I can have the Tyrells siege Storm's End and the rest of our forces. Well, let's wait a little bit. Let's wait a little bit. Okay, what are we doing? We are currently here besieging that. That's fine. Anything else that we must do? Yes, we need to appoint new counselors um, and apparently I also need to appoint new commanders here. Aaron, I want you and... Ah, we got Lewin Martell here. That's fine. Vorian is still imprisoned. Actually, wait, what? Yeah, he's imprisoned by Eddard. Can we ask... Yeah, we don't have the money. We could ransom him if we had the money. I wish we could trade him for Eddard Stark. Um... Declaim poetry. Poetry. Uh, I mean, we're going to keep him in prison for now, because he's still a rebel and, and, uh, and, a, and a traitor, I guess, in, in, a, in a sense. So, we're not going to release him right now, but yeah, let's actually check out our counselors. We have Renford Riker as Master of Arms and Gilbert Faring as Master of Coin. Hand of the King should probably... Well, let's check out our rivals. Lucifer and Robert, our friends are Arthur... Miles Mutant and Richard Larnmoth. Okay, so one of them would like to give a really good position, but Master Whisperers for now could be. Yeah, that's gonna be our friend. I don't know about Varus. He doesn't hate us. Right, fine. Let's have Varus as Master Whisperers again. Why not? Then Court Physician Pycelle, except that we have Lothar. Sure. And you can go for some charity there. Pycelle, you serve the court, and we don't actually have a plot right now. I would like to get Willem Derry back uh, out here. He's not your, he's your prisoner. Is he dead, maybe? Is there a chance that he's dead? I think that might be. No, he's still around. Okay, let's try and... Uh, rescue you from prison. You are currently imprisoned by a Laric Harbottle. That's still in the Eerie. Okay, let's make sure before the clansmen actually crack down on you, I would like to uh, get you out of there. Perfect. Then, we need a High Admiral, for which I'm going to pick Aaron Drift, I believe. Uh... Yes, then we have Jorah. He's done a pretty good job so far. And then Hand of the King will be... Who? Who will be our Hand of the King? Certainly not Rossard. I don't... Kn you know what? I'm actually going to pick Lewin Martell as Hand of the King right now. But he's still going to... We're still going to need him to lead our forces. So he's not going to actually do all that much right now. Uh, where are you? You're not shown as a commander. You should be. Um, there he is. Why can I not appoint Lewin Martell as commander? Am I just missing him? Yeah, he's not here. For some reason, that's very odd. Whatever. Maybe he's all. No, I don't know. I don't know where he is. Okay, well, whatever. Uh, let's uh, 
yeah, we do need a designated region as well, for which I will probably pick... I will probably pick... Ah, uh, White Valley, yeah. She's the queen after all, so it kind of makes sense. It Demand... Important prisoners. Manfred Blaston, sure, why not? And then... What else can we do? Ransom all prisoners? Imprison some people? No, I think we're on a pretty good... Uh, pretty good position right now. We have received all the crowns from our father and all kinds of books. Very good. We could request a coronation. We're just kind of not, we just kind of don't have the money right now. There's a few people that might join us here in this plot. Very good. Um, all right. Fine. I think I will probably, what I will do is I'll end the episode here. We're now Rhaegar. Uh, we still haven't won the war, but we're very, very close. And uh, I think that after Dragonstone has been taken, we should actually... Yeah, we should be there. How, how much is Dragonstone worth? It's 7%. Yeah, and Durland. So that's 10%. Yeah, we wouldn't be quite there, but very, very close. Very close to winning the war. So, yeah, I'm going to have to end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.